What is your reaction to what's happening with Zach Wilson and the vitriol directed at him, especially by Rodney Harrison? I mean, you guys know as well as I do. There's always two sides to all of this. Is that, you know, I've had some issues, you know, since becoming an analyst of how you do your job and how you analyze players um, and try to be honest and give criticism where criticism is due, yet never attacking the person. Right. I always say I attack the problem, don't attack the person. And I think that can be a fine line or, you know, oftentimes we can have people that go over the line. And um, and I think in that situation with Rodney, it felt like he went over the line. Like it was I'm attacking the person as opposed to attacking just the play, because, you know, I think all of us, you know, that are have watched and, and are in the business understand that Zach hasn't played um, well when he's been the starter. And those are just facts. And as a former player, I understood that when I played that, you know, if somebody wrote an article about me playing a bad game, I knew if I played a bad game, I wasn't going to get mad at the person for, you know, for pointing those things out. But I think there is um, there is a way to do it. And I think, you know, when you get into the media and, you know, you get into that position, you have to be able to walk that that fine line and do your job because, the best analysts out there do their job and they analyze and they say when things are wrong or when things need to be better. Um, but you do it in such a way that, um, you know, you're trying to teach and you're trying to show people what's going on and, and not doing it in a way to attack anybody. Check out new episodes of What the Football with Susie Schuster and Amy Trask every Tuesday. Watch us on the Rich Eisen Show YouTube page or follow and listen wherever you get your podcasts.